Can we talk a bit about the zero-g plane? Yes, please. You see this in the trailer and you go, okay, well, that was CGI. They tweaked a few things, right? I've seen the behind-the-scenes footage now, and you actually got a plane, <laughs> aimed it for the sun, <laughs> and shot a zero-g, yes. like, sequence. It was really fun doing that. And that was your pitch, yeah. is that right? I, I wanted to do a sequence in zero-g, and real zero-g, mm -hmm. you know, and so, we started working on it and I said to the studio, I said, we gotta do this as zero G for real. And they looked at me like, what? Come on. I said, no, no, it's gotta be a real plane crash. And they're like, what are you saying? I said, no, we could build the set inside this airplane, zero G airplane in France, in Bordeaux. And we could shoot Annabelle and I, you know, we could do the whole thing. And I said, it'd be so cool, you know, and for an audience, you can't beat it. It'll make it feel so authentic and terrifying for an audience. Of course, then I had to convince Annabelle that it was going to be okay and, you know, how great it's going to be and, you know, for her to be able to talk about it and if she lives through it, how exciting it'll be for her children in the future and grandchildren and her whole family and everyone's going to know, think like, she's just the coolest, you know? You pushed all your chips in and then taken her chips and gone. <laughs> yes, that's exactly it. I was like, Annabelle, come here, come here, Annabelle, you know? You're going to love what I got you're planned. Gonna, you're going to love this, you know? <laughs> there is one film of yours, I hate to call you out, I yep. don't think you do the stunt for this one. Tell me. You leap out of your car, you do a forward flip, and you have an Uzi in each hand, and you're blasting this assault helicopter. The helicopter explodes, and you land in your blue velvet suit with ruffles at the top, in Austin Powers in Goldmember. Actually... I don't think that was you. Actually, you're right. Yeah, baby. <laughs> You caught me out. <laughs> you caught me out. Totally caught me out. You're driving a Union Jack Shaguar. Yes. And apparently that wasn't See, you. I love those films. They called me up and said, would you like to play this thing? Like, I went in and did that for just a couple of hours. Shall we shag now or shag later? Oh, Austin, behave. I don't know why they didn't make another one of those. I think they're classic. At the beginning of a movie, it is hysterical. <laughs> it was fun. Unbelievably that funny. That was really fun. Are you aware of the Tom Cruise clinging off things meme? No. no so I've got this no. on my phone. Hopefully you'll love it. But essentially, <laughs> this is Tom Cruise. You were hanging off Free Willy there. <laughs> there you are. That's you hanging off a cat. That's, that's a fantastic. This oh, one, <laughs> there's Darth Maul falling to his doom. And there you are. There I'm hanging. <laughs> hanging off the side. I was obsessed is, with this. Oh my god, why hasn't anyone shown me that before? That is hilarious. Well, you haven't seen anything yet, that, because here's you <laughs> hanging off Nick Cage. Is that... <laughs> Can I get some water for Mr. Cruz, please? Please, give me some water. Here you go. Oh my gosh, thank you very much, thank you. <laughs> that film has like four humongous stunt sequences, and that's what they took on. It's so... Oh my god, that's it, so funny. It's so good. I'm gonna send you a link of my favorites. Please, please. I love it. We've talked about a lot of your big ticket stunts, but I'd like to bring up a couple of the kind of smaller ones. My mom always told me, you do not slide on the floor in your socks. <laughs> yes. And I remember saying, but Tom Cruise does it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now that's not a rule for life, but I think there are quite a few upset mothers. <laughs> The pool trick shots in Color of Money, I was like, you can practice all you like hanging off a plane, but if you're there with a whole crew, camera operators, all the rest, and you cannot put the black in that hole. All in one shot. I trained for like seven months in pool. Including the... Yeah, I added that. I was just practicing with nunchucks, just on the, like learning nunchucks. And one day in rehearsal, I was just taking the pool cue and just moving it around like that. And I was like, Marty, what do you think, you know? And so he added that in and made that kind of a character thing. And I also, I wanted the Vince t-shirt. Vincent, who's not really the brightest bulb in the lamp, do you know what I mean? <laughs> With hair that's guaranteed up to 90 miles an hour. <laughs> and his hair was perfect. <laughs> and his hair, exactly. I told the hair person, I said, look, gotta be guaranteed up to 90 miles an hour. Sure. Gotta be like three inches high, combed across. And the reason he has Vincent on there is so that he can remember his name, you know? <laughs> Because of the way new cycles work these days, can I just ask you, 
Would you mind confirming that Top Gun 3 is in the works? You know, I can't confirm Top Gun 3. But 2? 2 is like, that's in the pipeline. If you need any practice with the... High five? Well, now, because it's 2, it's going to be... Yeah, it we should be like a pancake, make it, right? Yeah, exactly. We gotta, we gotta step it up. You <laughs> know? Two's got to be bigger than one, right? Gotcha. Yeah, that's how it works. It's been more than an absolute no, pleasure for me. Thank you so much. Thank you. Really, real pleasure. It's Thank always you. Always great to see you. Thank you.